Okay, thank you for joining me today for Lunch and Learn, and this is Explain Plan Month. So welcome, enjoy, and learn. Today we are going to cover some important, or I find, useful Explain Plan syntax. My short disclaimer. I am an Oracle ACE director. This is a cool title that Oracle gave to me several years ago. And part of our job is to share technology among the masses. I like these lunch and learns. I like this format. I like um, the short webinar content and sharing information this way. You can also see me at most major user groups and trade shows uh, around the world. So uh, I'm up to 14 books. I'll be writing two more books. One I'll have done by the end of the year. The other one probably, hopefully, will be available for Collaborate. Um, you can register for announcements. I do prefer an email. You can go to my website, and there's a link there to register for announcements. What you get are the links uh, to today's to these presentations. So I do blog regularly, and I do training for a living. I have a one-course fee. Uh, on-site over the web. It's a little bit better deal over the web, but on-site, um, people seem to like to have me on-site. When I'm on-site, I also have a portable computer lab. So, A couple of classes to take note of is the Oracle 12, new features, and I have put together the SQL and PL SQL performance tuning class. It's a five-day class. It has parts from both of these two courses and some additional information on handling collections and uh, primarily functions. How to rev up functions and get things going faster there. So at any rate, keep me in mind when you have a training need. Today is we're going to talk about some explain plan syntax, some useful things to know. This is explain plan month. Uh, each week um, I will have some new content for you. Uh, next week I believe I'm going to talk about of course, it's always subject to change, so watch for the announcements. Um, I'm going to talk about how Oracle puts together an explain plan. It's an interesting process that the cost-based optimizer uses. As always, the links to the, the replay, this replay that I'm recording, and the slides are available at danhotka.com. They'll probably be available about an hour after we're done with today's presentation. So today's topic is using the right plan table. I want to make sure that you understand how this works. Uh, when you're using C primarily using SQL plus to tune and you've got bind variables, there are some important considerations. Today's presentation is just packed full of some newer syntax using the DBM, uh, DBMS X plan package. Okay? All of this information has come out of my SQL tuning class. And um, like I say, if you find this information useful, perhaps you'll invite me to, to run a training course or for you and your colleagues, and you can pick up on all of the tips and techniques. All right. Let's make sure we're using the right plan table. All of the tools use the plan table to format their explain plans, their execution plans. I use the term synonymously, but technically it's the explain plan. The execution plan is the binary uh, source of uh, how Oracle is going to execute things. The explain plan is the um, English version of that. Okay, and the plan table is used to format that. Oracle 9 and before we ran a script, people forgot to run the script, and you would be missing some useful, some useful newer information perhaps that, that appear in the plan table. All right. Oracle 10, trying to alleviate this, came up with this virtual table, plan table dollar, owned by Sys. I made a synonym for it. Oracle 11 and 12 have the synonym. So all you have to do is make sure you don't have a plan under bar table in your current schema. Because all of the tools look for one in your schema first, and then they'll look for a synonym or look for the um, plan table somewhere else. All right? SQL Plus, I like SQL Plus. Um, it always works. Uh, it has an auto trace, which is dbmsxplan.display. Um, you can do a trace only, which it will produce an explain plan without actually executing the SQL statement. You can also put this explain plan for syntax into your, into your query, and it will just populate the plan table. This allows you to either run my script. I've got a little script that will 
print out a, an explain plan, or you can run uh, the DBMSX plan package, one of the options in there, to display something particular. We're, we'll see a couple of things in particular there. Why do I talk about this? Because occasionally Oracle will add some new items to the plan table, and they don't yet appear in the tools. Um, I have a tool that I've written. I'm pretty quick about including things like that in there. But this is a script um, that you run through SQL Plus to use the explain plan for syntax, populate the plan table, run the script, and scripts are easy to change. Just add your columns to the thing. Okay. So SQL Plus, next topic, SQL Plus and bind variables. When you use SQL Plus, uh, and you're tuning a SQL statement that has bind variables, all of the bind variables come into that SQL statement as character fields. Okay? When you're comparing it to a number, of course, Oracle's going to put a two num on one side or the other. This is part of query transformation. We're going to talk about query transformation on one of the Lunch and Learns this week. It's a fascinating process, and there's reasons Oracle will tweak up your SQL statements. And this is one of them, to make the data types the same. Okay, but that's that will goof up your explain plan. If you if you have a bind variable that's a number, you need to do these two steps first to make sure that that bind variable comes into your SQL statement using SQL plus as the right data type. Okay? So you can then execute the SQL, you can either use the DBMSX plan display cursor or display cursor format typical peak binds. This will show you the bind variables. Of course, you put them in in SQL Plus, but this will document it all. If you're printing something and giving it to someone else, for example, everything prints out nicely. So, um, Just remember aware that there is no bind peaking, there is no bind aware uh, with SQL Plus. So if you pass it in a SQL statement, it's not going to do any of the other magical things that Oracle 11, Oracle 12 does. All right? Um, of course, Oracle 10, we already talked about the plan table and plan table dollar. Um, v dollar SQL plan is a view into the library cache. So this is actual execution. V dollar SQL is the parent um, cursor, and the V dollar SQL area are the child cursors. This is where your explain plans are and stuff. There are dbmsx plan dot displays. Uh, to get useful information out of these and get useful information out of AWR, Automated Workload Repository. Whenever you're working with Automated Workload Repository uh, to be in compliance with your Oracle licensing, I believe you need to purchase the, the Enterprise Manager Diagnostics Pack. Okay? If you don't have that, you're not supposed to look at those tables. These are safe to look at. These are the library cache. The V dollar or the AWR table is this V dollar this DBA hist SQL text. You use that to get the SQL ID, and then you put the plug the SQL ID into this DBMSX plan dot display. There is a way. One of the options is to pass the SQL ID, and this is something that we'll probably cover yet this month. So tell your friends, tell your cohorts about these lunch and learns, and that this is Explain Plan Month. Well, so anyway, you do need to have the diagnostics pack to look at, at this particular information. AWR does store all your SQL statements and the execution plan that they executed with for seven days. And this is important when you're looking at problem SQL. All right. You can see the bind variables. This is related to the SQL plus thing that I was just showing. What are the data types? What are the string values? Okay, this is the name of the, the bind variable, the position that it was passed in, the data type, and the string value. How about that? It's stored for you. And this is out of an Oracle 11 database. I don't know that this was available in Oracle 10. All right, we're going to focus on JS Tuner. All of the tools have an explain plan button. We'll give you an explain plan. They're adjustable. Um, you can get get them to do different things, and they're very useful. JS Tuner is a tool that I wrote for free. It was um, uh, back in the day before SQL Developer existed. I needed a tool when people didn't have Toad or some other tool to get explain plans. Push a button, get an explain plan. 
in today's world, um, a lot of people have tools, but I have used this as a launch point for newer technologies, and you're going to see this. Okay, I've, I've got some cool things coming up in the next release. DBMSX plan package is well documented now. Um, there's all the different units of the package, display AWR things, display cursor. Um, you can get it to do different things, and we're going to see some of the syntax yet today. Two options right now that we're going to talk about is uh, display format and display cursor with format all stats last. Display the outline. What this will do, you can do the um, explain plan for syntax, populate plan table, and then run this. Okay? And what this will do is it will give you, even gives you the hint syntax. It gives you a list of the hints to reproduce that exact same explain plan. I used to promote this technology. This has been around a while. I used to promote this technology going rule-based to cost-based. You had some rule-based explain plans that seemed to work real well. You wanted to preserve those. This was a way to preserve those. It will show you all of the hints used to reproduce that explain plan. Now I use it for, instead of maybe SQL outlines, although those are really good, um, instead of those, you got a couple of SQL statements that won't stay tuned. You don't want to do anything fancy. You can populate them some hints. Maybe you don't need all of these hints, um, but use some of the hints. You can look down through here. There's the hash joins. There is the one that you want it to start with. There's an index, a fast full scan on an index. Is that one there? So you can see the different hints. A couple of things that you can learn from this is maybe some of the hints that aren't documented real well, like optimizer feature enabled. Everyone thinks this is an init.ora setting, but you can set it at the SQL statement level. If you have just a couple of three SQL statements that worked better in Oracle 10 than they do in Oracle 11, you can roll back the optimizer uh, to make it think it's processing Oracle 10. Just a side note there, if you were up against an Oracle bug, bugs don't roll back. Just the, just the optimizer features. So, anyway, you can learn things from this. The next one that I wanted to show you is this format, all stats last. It works in conjunction with the hint. You put this hint into your query, execute the query, and then run this. You're going to get estimated rows, which is your typical explain plan, but the actual rows that it executed with. Okay? This is the reason I run trace. In, in class, we all run a SQL trace because I think it's useful information, and it's useful for a number of things. But also, I use it primarily because it's the, ex the explain plan that it actually executed with, and these row counts matter. Okay? These row counts matter. Here is one with a little bit better, um, bigger database. It's a public domain uh, baseball database. And I got the plant gather plant statistics hint in there. All right. And we look at the estimated rows. We got a hash join. By the way, this is the outer table. Oracle joins up two tables at a time. There's the join condition. There's the outer table and the inner table. What comes out of here is the outer table to the next step up there. So this, this is the outer table. This is the outer and inner. And then this will be the inner to the next one. And what comes out of there is this. All right. Nested loops is just opposite. Hash joins the outer table and the inner table. This should be the smaller of the two sets. And this should be the larger. It will execute better. Nested loops is larger to smaller, especially if the smaller is one or very small subset. Okay. And it's larger to smaller as to what the WHERE clause is returning. So does that make sense? Hope so. All right. So what we got here is a problem query. At explain plan time, it looks pretty good. We got a hash join. We got smaller to larger. And it came up with 6,000 rows out of there. And we compare that. It's, again, another hash join, smaller to larger. Looks pretty good. In actuality... 
this, this first teams one was quite a ways off. Okay? When it still went smaller to larger, but it came out of there with 94,000 rows, not six, and now it's larger to smaller. In the class, we talk about how to tweak this around, how to do different things, but we also talk about how to identify these kinds of performance problems. The fact that it got the join condition wrong. Why did it get this wrong? Because the explain plan used cost-based statistics, thought that this is how many was going to be there, got the math wrong on the first one here, and uh, Oracle tends not to self-correct. So as it goes up the explain plan tree, generally when it's made a poor decision, the poor decision is propagated throughout the rest of the steps because the cost-based optimizer is highly dependent upon math and um, statistics and, and different equations to come up with what it thinks is a row count for each of those line items. Okay? This is what I was after with SQL Trace. When you had a problem query, what were the actual row counts that went with the explain plan steps? And you can get that now easily with this. Now, you say, boy, that's a lot of typing and I gotta, I gotta make it. That, that sure looks difficult. Well, it's not. You add this hint uh, using my tool, JS Tuner. Again, remember I said that I use this to, uh, as a newer launch point for syntax. You put gather plan statistics as the first hint. It's slash asterisk plus space plant gather plan. I think I just looked for the gather. I will run the right syntax for you. Okay? And remember, this is just a cool front end to SQL plus. So you need SQL plus client side. You need my tool. This is a Java, a little Java script. And um, it's absolutely free and it only does select statements. So I'm, it won't corrupt your database. Um, it uses the plan table. Again, it uses SQL plus client side. I, I pass things to it. It passes things back and then I populate these panels. There's a lot more useful information. You're going to see this tool again uh, in this month of Explain Plans on the Lunch and Learns. All right, another way to look at the estimates and actuals, and I believe this is the technology that Enterprise Manager uses. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. You do need to have purchased the um, Enterprise Manager Diagnostics Pack to use this. I believe this is not a free free syntax. The other one that I showed you is a free syntax. This is not. This populates a table. You use the monitor hint, populates a table, and then you it's got a DBMS SQL tune package that you use to display the information. And it can it can put it out in a lot of useful formats. Okay. And it gives you a lot of useful information. I've got a little script that will go out there and find it for you. Gives you a lot of useful information. Most importantly, it gives you the estimated rows and the actual rows and a lot more information. A lot more information is available with this. I would just use Enterprise Manager perhaps, but you can use this as a technology to write something of your own perhaps. Don't know. Okay, we talked about using the right plan table. We talked about Find variable problems with SQL Plus. Make sure you're using the right data type. I shared a variety of DBMSX plan syntax with you. I showed you how to make it easy using my console interface. The slides and link to this presentation will be available shortly out on danhotka.com. You can also register there to receive these notices and the links Monday mornings uh, um, so that you don't have to go look it up. Um, do tell everybody about these. I, I'm very pleased uh, with the response that I'm getting from these. I'm getting a lot of positive feedback from folks. I want to thank you very much. Have a good day. Do keep in touch and do remember me for your training needs.